it's good to have a Sunday morning where we all get in our vehicles and drive and we're all in one building instead of just all worshiping from our houses. Although I must admit, I have felt Jesus at my house just as strongly as I feel him right here in the sanctuary. But it is just lovely to be back here. We've had a great uh, revival with Brother Smith on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And what a great way just to come back and, and make our way back into the house of the Lord. I want to read to you from the Word in the book of Acts, a favorite chapter of ours, Acts chapter 2. But Peter, standing up with the eleven, lifted up his voice and said unto them, Ye men of Judea, and all ye that dwell at Jerusalem, be this known unto you, hearken to my words. For these are not drunken, as ye suppose, seeing it is but the third hour of the day. But this is that which was spoken yes. by the prophet Joel. Right. And it shall come to pass in the last days, yes. saith God, I will pour out oh, my God. spirit God. upon all yes. flesh. Amen. All flesh. Yes. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaidens, I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I will show wonders in the heaven above, and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood, before that great and notable day of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass. I have this underlined in my Bible. Right. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord oh shall be saved. That's a positive affirmation. Yes. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord yes. shall be saved. Oh, amen. And on over in the chapter, Peter goes ahead and he's, he's preaching and talking with them. And then it says now, when they heard this, all of the things that he brought, brought to their minds, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? So they've been told we could call on the name of the Lord. Yes. And we shall be saved. But how do we do it? What, what do we do? And Peter said unto them, repent. Uh -huh. Let God know, I, I'm sorry for all those things that I have done that were displeasing to you. All right. And be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and Ye shall receive right. the gift of the Holy Ghost. Oh, for the promise is unto you, to your children, and to all that are afar off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. Right. And with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this untoward generation. Then they that gladly received his word yes. were baptized. And that same day, there were added unto them about 3,000 souls. And they continued steadfastly All right. in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayers. All right. So I'm very, very excited today to know that we can call on the name of the yes. Lord yes. and we can repent. We can be baptized in the lovely name of Jesus Christ, taking on the name of our bridegroom, taking on that family name. And the word says, and we shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Yes. So I welcome all of you here today. We welcome those of you who are watching us through a live stream this morning. And we just want to say, Jesus has born out the Holy Ghost. Amen. We can receive the Holy Ghost here, but it didn't say, I did not read it, that it 
stream today, but Jesus has poured out the Holy Ghost. And so if you call on his name, you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And you can receive it wherever that you are today. Let's go to uh, the Lord in prayer right now. Uh, Jesus, we're coming to you and we thank you for the opportunity to be back in your house. Uh, we thank you that today, God, that we can come. 
but I think that we ought to sing it right here this morning. All right. We have people that have been renewed in Jesus, Hallelujah. that have been refilled with the baptism of the Holy Ghost in their homes with the evidence of speaking the Lord. Instantaneous. Yeah. 
instantaneously. Three people healed from neuropathy and of the foot disease and pain and burning and suffering.
good to see each of you. You may be seated for a moment if you would like. Glad that you are here. And uh, we're about to do something that is going to change the atmosphere. Yeah, it's going right. to change the atmosphere yeah. in here. Right. It's going to change the atmosphere for those who are viewing. Yeah. It's going to change the atmosphere for the situations in your life. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm not talking about anything super spiritual. But what we're going to do, I believe, is is going to make an impact yeah. right now, yeah. right here. Yeah. Because that's what the Lord wants to do. Yes, now, I know you've all got your masks on, but I want you to look to someone near you, behind you, beside you. And I want you to give them a big old Jesus smile. Yeah. Ah! All right, now do it to somebody else. Give them a big old huge smile. Oh, I love it. I love it. I can see these smiles, even though you've got your mask on over your mouth, because I can see it in your eyes. Did you know on this day right here, right now, your Heavenly Father is looking down upon you with a smile? He's not standing over you with a hammer. He's not looking upon you with a scowl, but he's looking upon you with a smile. He's smiling down upon you because he loves you, because he cares for you. And that feels good. Smile to somebody else again. Don't you feel it? Doesn't it feel good in here? There's something happening through your smile. Brother Colet, that's ridiculous. No, it's not. You feel it. You look better right now than you did while we're up here singing. Some of you are just standing there like, well, now you look better. Because you're smiling. Something's kind of released inside of you. I told you it's going to change the atmosphere. And I believe that it is. And just in case that little act of obedience didn't change the atmosphere, maybe this will. In Philippians 4.23, Paul writes to the church and he says, The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Yeah. Welcome to the house of grace yeah. today. Amen. Welcome to the presence of grace from the Father, from God. He's pouring it out upon you. You see, mercy is when we don't get what we deserve. But grace is when we do get what we don't deserve. Right. For example, when you forget to finish your homework and turn it in, you know, oh, I should be getting a zero. But the teacher will show you mercy when he or she says, well, I'll give you 50%. That's mercy. You, uh, you deserve worse. But, but, but grace is when the teacher comes before the class and says, guys, I made a mistake in the scoring of your tests. So because I did, I'm giving every one of you an A+. You're like, woo! I didn't deserve that A+, plus, but my teacher gave it to me. I'll take it. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Your father's looking down and saying, I want to pour out an A-plus on yeah. you. Not for anything you've done or haven't done, right. but simply because I love you. you and that he's here right. to pour out grace. And what grace is all about is God wants to give you something. Yes, yeah. It's already been said. God wants you to be filled or refilled with the Holy Ghost. And yeah. It's already happened in some. They received grace, but it's here today. What do you need from the Lord? What do you want from the Lord? It's here because God is looking down with a smile on his face to you saying grace, yeah. grace. grace. So we speak grace unto you, you in Amen. this place. Again, we're so thrilled you're here because God has something good for you yes, for yeah. being here. It's so good Amen. to see Becca's mom, Tina, in service with us today. That brings a smile to my face yeah. and, and just all of you. Be reminded that when you uh, dismiss, uh, when you are dismissed after uh, our baptismal, that the offering and tithe boxes are right there by the doors. Please give your giving. Just drop it down in those boxes as you leave. Uh, and and um, you'll be able to support the, the church in that way, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. All right. Well, we're going to worship the Lord here just a little bit more. And I think it would be very appropriate for us during this time. Leave your mask on. The Lord can see it. But why don't we stand together? And as we worship, why don't we lift our faces to the Lord? Why don't we smile unto Jesus? Why don't we just enjoy his presence knowing that it doesn't matter what I've done or haven't done. There's love and grace from the Father. And, and that, that brings up worship and that brings up praise. So let's lift him up here right now.
believe anything is possible as we're gathered together in his name. Amen. Hallelujah. It looks good, as Brother Clay said, to see all of you, even with your mask on. And I know you can say, well, you don't have one on. Why don't you have one on? Well, I'm trying to project my voice to minister to you. And um, before long, Lord willing, we won't have to wear these things anymore. Amen. And I will be glad for that day. Hallelujah. I'm not afraid if you get, uh, if we're just following the protocol of what we're asked to do. Right. But we want Jesus to have his way here. Amen. We want Jesus to do his thing here. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. The Lord is in this place. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Yes, he is. The Lord is in this place. Yes, and it is good to be able to be in this house today to worship the Lord in spirit. Amen. And in truth. Yes. Welcome everybody. Welcome everybody here and out there, wherever you're viewing from. We're glad that you have become a part of this service today. Amen. Whether you're watching it in real time or you're going to watch it later, I believe God can touch you then Amen. as well as now. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. praise the Lord. Somebody say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 We are so grateful that the Lord has brought us through. Yes. And kept us Amen. through all this stuff. Amen. And we want to have revival in the present. Right. In the here and the now. Amen. Hallelujah. We, we were having revival services the other night. And uh, they were great. Amen. But we want to continue it. Yes. Amen. Right. Amen. Brother Smith told us that this church is going to, well, uh, the Lord spoke through him and said this church is going to triple. Yes. He told us later that the promises of God are always conditional. Yes. God is willing. God desires. Yes. But we have to let him. We have to allow him. We have to do our part. Amen. We have to be faithful. Yes, sir. We have to keep trusting and believing yeah. yes. and serving. Right. And if you've ever cut God off and stopped him from doing something in your life, you need to pray until you are able to release that or get that out of the way so you can be free to let God take over. All right. Yes. Because I don't want to stop the flow of His Spirit, Amen. and you don't. You need His Spirit in your life Amen. more than you need anything. Yes, sir. More than anything, the, the the most essential thing for you is not bread and and water and toilet paper or whatever they deem essential. Right. But it's the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost in your life. That's what you need. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm, I'm going to be Captain Obvious today. As Brother Clay said, the Lord's looking down from heaven and he's looking at us with a smile and he's looking upon us with grace. Oh, thank God for God's amazing grace. For giving us what we do not deserve, but giving us what uh, oh, what yes. just his gift, his love, his yes. spirit. We don't deserve that. Right. Hallelujah. Right. Thank God for mercy. Amen. But thank God for grace. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to be Captain Obvious. Someone is watching you. That's the title of this message today. Right. Come on. And um, I, I was going to ask you, have you had your medicine today? And uh, you, you, you need to take your B1 and B1 in church. But uh, uh, have you had your medicine today? Well, Brother Clay, is, he, was, he was like medicine up here. He was full of cheer and he's cheering you up. And, and uh, that's, we're not going to get some sad sack up here. And, and no, thank God for somebody trying to cheer you up. If you're not smiling yet, what's wrong? Hallelujah. I mean, Lord, it's, sometimes it's bad, but even in the bad times, yes, sir. You can you can you can draw from some joy yes. in the house of the Lord and yes. in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You can 
find something to be uh, to lift your head up to God for. Amen. Yes, sir. Proverbs says in Proverbs 17:22, "A merry heart doeth good, like a medicine." All right. Somebody wrote a song: "Laughter is good like a medicine, but a broken spirit drieth up the bones. It drieth up the bones. It drieth the bones." Sure. And you know what? You can you can get free of of of, of that that old uh, broken spirit today. Amen. The Lord is a heart mender. Amen. He'll fix your spirit. Amen. Another version said, "A joyful heart is good medicine, but depression drains one's strength." Are you suffering depression today? Well, I got a solution. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Rejoice. Yes. That's yes. the word of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. And it will be like medicine Amen. to your spirit. Amen. Amen. To, to your life. Another version said, A happy heart is good medicine, and a cheerful mind works healing. But a broken spirit dries up the bones. All right. Hallelujah. All you, right. need some, you need some suppleness in your bones. You don't want your bones drying up because right. then they become right. more fragile right. and easily broken. Okay. God, let your blood flow through my bones. Yes, Lord. And let your joy flow through my soul. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, there's a time to cry, and this isn't it. Right. There's a time for all things. There's a time to laugh. Yes. William Barclay, um, in his daily devotional, Daily Celebration, appears this little story, and he writes, There was a little Indian girl at school today, announced my son proudly, and the father said, Does she speak English? I asked. No, came the quick reply, but it doesn't matter, because she laughs in English. Oh. <laughs> Hallelujah. Laughter is a universal language. You can laugh in any language, and it will be considered, it, it will be understood. So keep laughing. If, uh, if uh, you can laugh at it, uh, you can live with it. Oh, yes, if you can laugh with it, you can live with it. Laughter is the cheapest luxury man has. The cheapest luxury that man has. You don't have to have a lot of money to laugh. All right. Yes. Hallelujah. All right. It's like salt is to an egg. It's, it stirs up the blood. It expands the chest. It electrifies the nerve. It clears away the cobwebs uh -huh. from the brain. Okay. Yeah, it clears right. away the cobwebs. Yeah. I already made my request the other day. I said, Lord, my mansion in heaven, and I said, no spiders. Right. No yeah. spiders. Yeah. Uh, I don't want cobwebs. Right. No spiders. Right. Down here, they're in king's palaces. But up there, I don't believe there's going to be any spiders in my mansion. All right. Right. They might be up there somewhere, but not my mansion. All right. All right. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody needs to laugh. Yeah. Like that. Get right. a little levity in your spirit. Right. Quit taking yourself so serious. Come on. Well, you don't know the problems I have. Well, you don't know the problems I've had. True. Hallelujah. That's true. All right. Laughter gives the whole system a cleaning, rehabilitation. That's good. Hallelujah. Right. I would ask for one of the little kids to bring them up there and see if they would laugh for me. And uh, I, 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 that one back there, he, could, he would probably laugh for me. <laughs> Let me see those pictures. Laughter is a universal language. Even animals know it. Even animals know laughter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
Laughter is good like a medicine. Amen. 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 The joy of the Lord is our strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Oh, the joy of the Lord is my strength. And if you want joy, you must laugh for it. If you want joy, you must laugh for it. If you want joy, you must laugh for it. Oh, the joy of the Lord is my strength. <laughs> well, some of you are really struggling. <laughs> You know, if you don't shake up, I'll get Brother Gary up here to sing I've Been Tickled by a, a Yellow Bumblebee. <laughs> he said, no, it's all right. Okay, then laugh, Brother Gary. <laughs> uh, hallelujah. You got to be, you know, he, he's crazy. Well, you got to be a little bit. It doesn't hurt to be crazy. A good way. Hallelujah. So the title of this message, as I said, someone is watching you. Isn't that obvious? Uh -huh. um, you know, somebody is watching you, so it's important to watch what you say, okay. to watch what you do, because you never know who has a camera on you. I feel like there's always somebody with a camera on me anymore. Yeah. I don't know who's watching me, or what angle they're getting it from. Somebody might be watching you with their phone or with their eye or with their iPad. They might be watching you here or watching you somewhere from somewhere else, but they're watching you. Yeah. This is why it's important for you to be watchful unto prayer so that you can be the light, that you can be the witness that God's called you to be. That's good. Hallelujah. Amen. The key word of this message is watch. Now, I'm not telling you to get your eyes on everybody else and get your camera out to start. You know, that's, that's really invasive of their, their privacy, privacy. There's no privacy around here. That's the way they'd say it in England. No privacy. <laughs> <laughs> There's no privacy anywhere. You're right. And, and you don't want to, you know, get be like the paparazzi. Out there trying to find somebody, you know, in in, in a bad situation no and, and and frame them with it or something. That's wrong. Yes, sir. That's wrong. Right. And we're not recommending that. But I, I'm telling you that uh, that you need to be watchful under prayer. The key word here is watch, hey. watch, um, and keep. And in this this word watch means the act of or the fact of keeping awake, keeping awake. And keeping alert, keeping yourself awake and alert, alert watches the act or fact of keeping awake, especially of keeping awake and alert in order to look after, protect, or guard. Uh -huh. This is why you need to watch. Yes. You hire a security guard to watch your property and your moving. Yes. Not to go to sleep. No. But to watch. To watch. To watch, to make sure nobody's stealing things or taking things or to watch any kind of suspicious activity. Sure. Mm -hmm. Watch, to look after, to protect, to guard. The word watch is recorded in the gospel 11 times uh, using the Greek word uh, great gorio. And uh, it means uh, to keep awake. That is, I even watch. Literally or figuratively, to be vigilant, to Amen. wait, to be watchful. Amen. This is, uh, of course, in a spiritual sense. Because if you do not sleep in the natural sense, it will affect your ability. And uh, that, in essence, will affect your spiritual uh, ability yes. to watch. Although sometimes, the, the what there is a call 
in the spirit. And, and the watching spiritually will require staying awake in the natural. When there's a, a battle or a war that is raging, sometimes it's fought in the night and in the night season. And you must strive to, to keep yourself awake, to, to push yourself, to fight, to, to, uh, to conquer the evil without or within your own self. You need to keep yourself awake in an all-night prayer meeting. Right. Uh -huh. um, and and uh, they used to do them all night. You did it all night. Right. Now we have prayer all-night prayer shifts. Yeah. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Jesus asked his disciples, could you not even pray with me for an hour? Uh -huh. They did not try to keep themselves awake. Right. But I guarantee you, after that lesson they had with Jesus that night, they didn't let themselves fall asleep. Right. I would have done whatever I could. I would have taken five five-hour energy. I've never had one of those, but I would have made sure that my eyes were open. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The word watch by implication in a scriptural usage is a habit that is developed in order to look after your soul, to protect your destiny, and to guard your treasure. The treasure of the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit yes. that God has given you. Yes. And uh, your salvation and your testimony, right. your praise. The enemy's trying to steal your praise. Right. Your very life. Right. Hallelujah. Yes. It's a habit that you develop to watch these things, That's to guard right. these That's things. Good. I've seen people there. We're living. There's a, there's a greater pandemic than than the coronavirus. It's it's a spiritual slumber. There's a there's a spiritual slumber in the world and in the land today, and even in the church of the yes, living sir. God. And people are falling asleep spiritually, right. and their soul, right. their destiny, their the treasure that right. they have on the inside is in jeopardy. Yes, it is. Right. Yes, it is. Because there are spiritual predators that want to steal and destroy that good, the good that God has done in your life. It's eternal. Yeah. It's eternal. 
what God has in store is eternal. But the here and now, it, it isn't going to matter. We drove by somebody's nice home the other day, and their garage was nothing but charred remains. Wow. Everything in it was destroyed, just like that. A nice, beautiful day. And everything, well, their house fortunately was spared, but everything in their gar garage was lost. Wow. Just like that. That's the way life is uh -huh. here. You, there is nothing secure in this earth. Right. right. Not even uh, your retirement. Uh -huh. well, I, I don't want to say anything to discourage anybody. I'm not here to discourage you. I'm here to encourage you yes. to be watchful for what really is important. Amen. Okay, that's hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Right, right, right. That's oh, good. hallelujah. The word watch is used from the Greek word Gregorio is used in Acts in the Acts of the Apostle Paul urges believers in Acts 28, take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock. Take heed. That means watch therefore yes. mm -hmm. unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which the Holy Ghost hath made you overseas seers to feed the church of God which he hath purchased with his own blood. For I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you not sparing the flock. They're not going to care about the condition of your soul. Okay. They're out to, to deceive. Also your own selves, out of your own selves also shall men arise speaking perverse things to draw away disciples after them. Okay. Therefore, watch. watch. Therefore, okay. watch. watch. And remember that by the space of three years, I cease not to warn everyone night and day with guard by these false teachers. Okay. These, right. Those that would lie and those that would try to sow discord and those that would try to steal the doctrine, the teachings that the Lord himself has taught to you and we his disciples have taught to you. Amen. In the epistles of Paul, four times he tells them to guard, to protect, to be alert spiritually using the word gregario to watch. He said in 1 Corinthians 16, 13, watch ye, stand fast in the faith, quit you like men, act like men, be strong. Hey. And in Colossians 4, 1, continue in prayer and watch in the same. Okay. Watch by praying okay. and watch and, and make sure that you remain thankful. And, and have a thankful spirit. All right. Because uh, when you start murmuring and griping, uh, it's going to cause there to be blinders going over your mind uh, okay. and your uh, eyes, uh, and you're going to be deceived. Yes, sir. Right. Yeah. Yes. Hallelujah. That's First right. Thessalonians 5 and, and 1 says, But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Right. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction Same. cometh upon them as to veil upon a woman with a child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren and sisters, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake yeah. you as a thief. You're the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night, oh. nor of darkness, oh, that that day, therefore, let us not sleep as do others, okay. but let us watch and be sober. Okay. Let us stand guard, right. let us stand yes. guard and, and watch yes. what we have, yes. and guard what we have, and stay alert to what we need. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day, yes. be sober, yes. putting on the breastplate of faith and of love, for a helmet, the hope of salvation. For God hath not put in us unto wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Great Christ. Job. Amen. Amen. God Amen. has appointed us to salvation. Yes. Therefore, we need to guard what he's done for us. Absolutely. God saved us so that we can be eternally saved. Right. He right. saved us. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. He saved us. He saved us when we couldn't save ourselves. That's right. And he'll keep us. That's right. And we'll keep yeah. looking yeah. at him. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, we need to get your eyes off. Yes, Every backslider, okay. every lukewarm Christian, out the okay. people in the world, no. out to nominal Christianity yes. and false okay. religion.
2 Timothy 1, he charged his disciple Timothy, therefore, I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing in his kingdom. Preach the word. Be instant in season and out of season. Reprove uh, re and rebuke and sort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound teaching or doctrine. But they, uh, after their own lust, their own lust they'll heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. Teachers, if I had a a, 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 a feather today, I would come and tickle your ears. Is that what you want? Just somebody to tell you whatever you want? No, sir. No, sir. Come on. Come on. No. Come on. And they shall turn away their ears from hearing their truth, from hearing the truth, and shall be turned unto fables. A lot of two men preacher out, I'm going to turn on my headphones and, and I'm going to listen to something else. You can tune out the pastor. You can tune out the elders. But you cannot tune out the Spirit of God and your conscience when it speaks to your soul. If you do tune it out, you're going to cause it to become a, a callous and you will become to the point where you can't feel after the Spirit anymore. That's not a good thing. You need to get down in prayer and ask God to remove the hardness of heart and the calluses of soul and help you to be able to feel God and respond to the Spirit of the living God in my life all over again. Hallelujah. That's dangerous to tune God out. It's dangerous not to listen to elders when they speak into your life. Yeah. Hey. Rehoboam should have listened to his elders. Yes. Yes. When he didn't listen to his elders, he listened to his peers yes. who told him uh, yes. the wrong kind of, uh, told him the wrong thing. Yes. And it caused a divided kingdom yes. and right. problems for the rest of his existence. Mm -hmm. my, my. Yes. Yes. But watch in all things, endure afflictions. He said, but watch thou, thou because of all these things. Yes. Watch, watch, watch thou in all things. Endure afflictions. Do the work of an evangelist. Make full proof thy ministry. He's, he's talking mostly to ministry, but he's not just talking to ministry. This is to everybody. Hallelujah. Amen. Everybody, God says, watch yes. in all things. All right. How is God going to judge the dead and the living? Because he has watched or is watching them. Yes. God has watched us. He keeps an account. He keeps good records. Yes. He sees all and knows all. And the Bible says one day we're going to give an account for every idle word spoken. So if you've spoken idle things and you've spoken lies and spoken this or spoken that, that is contrary to what is right, you need to ask God to forgive you. Ask God to have mercy. Yes. He's watched, or he is watching you right now. He's watching how you respond to the preacher. He's watching how you respond to the authority figures in the world. He's watching. He sees us from all angles. That's right. He's the only one that can rightfully judge anybody. That's right. Because he sees from all angles. So Paul admonishes his disciple to watch that he is not deceived like those in verse 3 and 4 of this chapter. Watch, watch, Timothy. Yes. The Lord's done too much for you, for you to be deceived, okay. for you to uh, be, uh, for, uh, for you to not fall in love with the truth and a strong delusion comes upon you and you believe a lie and are damned. That's not what God wants for you. No. He wants you to be saved. Amen. The Apostle Peter admonished us to watch in 1 Peter 4, 7, he said, but the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. Watch unto prayer. Watch unto prayer. If, you, if, if you used to have a prayer habit and somehow you've, uh, you've uh, Come on. fallen asleep spiritually and you determine, well, you know, prayer didn't get me anywhere. Jesus. I've not seen my prayers answered or this Jesus. or that. All the lies the enemy uh -huh. tries to 
put in your mind to stop you from praying, right. okay? Right. Then you need to redevelop that habit. Oh, amen. amen. If you don't know how to pray, you come to God and you say, God, you know, I, I don't know how to pray. Teach me to pray. Uh -huh. yes. Hallelujah. Right. And that's that's praying. Right. Yeah. You just right. you come to him in your language and begin to talk to him. Yes. Right. And make it a habit. Until, you know, you'll get lost in the spirit of prayer. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Oh, yeah. You know, you're not, you're going to be watching in the right direction if you're lost in the spirit of prayer. Yes, you might be missing stuff that's going on around you in the world, Come on now. but that, that would be best. Some that's things okay. it's just best you don't know. Uh -huh. yes. Some things I wish I'd never heard. Yes. Sure. That's true. Sure. Some things I wish I'd never seen. Yes. Right. Because you can't unsee them. Right. 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 Oh, Jesus. Yeah. I'm about sick of this world, Lord. Right. And all of the things that are happening. Amen. But he said, be sober and watch. The word watch here comes from a Greek word, nepho. Nepho, it means to abstain from wine. To abstain from wine. To keep sober. That would be abstaining from all things okay. that intoxicate or make you drunk or high. Okay. Which would be drugs and alcohol or illicit relationships. Yes. All right. Some people are high or they're obsessed in their mind with, with different uh, things, with material things. Or a, a love for this or a love for that. That, that gets a hold of their mind and it fogs up their, their discernment and their understanding and their judgment. And they're not watching. They're asleep spiritually. It's to abstain from wine. That is, i.e. figuratively to be discreet. That means to watch what you say or what you do. Because you don't know who's watching you. Mm -hmm. right. Hallelujah. Right. And finally, in the book of Revelation, the angel said to the church of Sardis in Revelation 3, 2, be watchful and strengthen the things yes. which remain yes. that are ready to die. Uh -huh. For I have not found thy works perfect before God. Remember, therefore, how thou hast what thou hast received, how thou hast received and heard, and hold fast and repent. Have a change of heart. Yeah. And therefore, thou shalt not watch. I will come on thee as a thief. Right. And thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Okay. Okay. Therefore, watch. All right. Watch. That comes from the Hebrew Gregorio. That means to be alert, to be right. watching and guarding and, and, and looking after All your right. salvation, your experience. Hallelujah. Okay. Hallelujah. Right. Oh, the Bible, the Word of God. Don't let the devil steal the Word of God out of your heart and mind. Get it in your heart, memorize it, and stand on it. And you know, when you get the Word of God in your heart, you're going to know things that are, that are going to cause you to, to, to have a, a peace that passes understanding. You're going to know things that's going to give you a, a fearlessness in this hour. You're going to know who you belong to. You're going to know, hallelujah, who you are. You're going to know your identity. You're not going to need a statement about it. I am a child of God. I am an overcomer through the blood of Jesus Christ. I am a child of God. My sins are, I know they're forgiven. I know my name has been written down in the land book of life because it was written there when I was born again. Hallelujah. When um, the old flesh tries to rise up every day. That's why the Apostle Paul said, I die daily. Yes. I gotta I gotta die out to my flesh. Right. Yes. Amen. So that yes. his spirit can be preeminent in my life. That's it. Yes. Amen. The whole Bible is an instruction book on the security of the soul. 
on the security of the soul. It teaches us how to, to protect, to guard, yes. to watch over okay. our soul. That eternal part of you. Yes. Is anybody following me today? Yes. Yes. And it's full of examples of people who didn't watch, who are, were careless, Aiken, Lot's wife. Remember Lot's wife? Mm -hmm. Demas have forsaken the apostle, having loved this present world. Ananias and Sapphira. Uh -huh. Oh, we can hold back this. We can hold back that. Peter said, you can hide from me, but you can't hide from the Holy Ghost. Right. Right. You're not lying to me. You're lying to the Spirit of God. Uh -huh. right. Lord, help us. Uh -huh. And there are others who didn't guard their words and their actions. Think of the nation of Israel. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 tells us that everything that happened to them um, are examples to us. Right. And we're for whom the ends of the world have come. And we should learn from they're Absolutely right. 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 Yes. Oh my! Have, yes. I've read it hundreds of times over. They're 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 forsaking God. They're forgetting who He was and and, and, and following after idols and all of that stuff and what grief it brought them. Uh huh. Yes. Right. Oh, and it's got God's will for that to happen to you. Right. Right. All because of their careless living. God said, hear, O Israel. Yes. yes. And they were to watch by opening up their ears right. and listening to what God had to say. Okay. All right. Hear. Yes. Watchfulness is implied with other words such as take heed, keep, guard. In other words, Proverbs 4.23 says keep thy heart with all diligence, okay. for out of it are the issues of life. Yes. Yeah. Out of our heart are the issues of life. If you're having issues in your life, it, the probably the biggest issues are proceeding from your own heart. Okay. That's true. Probably. Another version says, guard your heart above all else, above everything else in life. Guard your heart. If they get into your home and steal this or that possession, though it, that, that's, that's not going to affect your eternal soul. But guard your heart above all else. Yes. For it determines the course of your life. Yes. It determines the course of your life. And Jesus said, uh, um, uh, about the heart, he said, but those things which proceed out of the mouth come from the heart, and they defile the man or the woman. For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts. Out of the heart proceeds murders and adulteries and fornications and thefts and false witness and blasphemies. And all the Hollywood stars right now, a lot of those things they wouldn't say um, are morally wrong, but the Bible says they defile you. But don't listen to Hollywood and let them uh, uh, let them write your narrative. Right. I met the author of my story, and it's God. Hallelujah! Jesus is writing the story of my life. Let Him write the story of your life, because really, history is about Him. It's His story. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Don't listen to the fornicators and adulterers and adulterers and all of them. Them, that think they know. He said, All these things, these things which defile a man, uh -huh. these are the things which defile a man. But to eat with unwashed hands defileth not a man. You might get coronavirus from it, but <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't defile your soul. <laughs> and those things that come out of your mouth fornications and thefts and, and, and you know, if, if we begin to confess, we've got people that have committed all of these things. Sure. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right. Sure. And the Apostle Paul said, but such were some of you, but you right. are washed, yes. you are sanctified, yes. you are justified uh -huh. in the name of the Lord yes. and by the Spirit yes. of our God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Therefore, we need to continue to live a holy and a godly life and, yes. and allow the Spirit to renew us and 
and refresh us yes. and wash us yes. from Amen. these things. Yes. Amen. 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 But those things are more dangerous than the coronavirus. Yes. Yes. And this is why each person must repent and ask God to create a new heart and a right spirit within us. We need to do that on an, op an often basis. Uh, uh, there's different situations you're going to face in your life, and you're going to need to go to God and get down every day and repent for yourself and repent for the world in which you live. I've repented for our nation for the things that are taking place in the in the news that I've already heard this morning. That I wept and cried and said, "God, have mercy. Our nation needs mercy." I just want to caution you. You better watch what you pray about. When you're demanding justice, if God gives you justice, you would have been dead already. But you need to pray, Father, forgive. Forgive me as I forgive them. Help me to forgive. Hallelujah. Vengeance is the Lord's. He's going to pray. He's watching. He yes. sees every racist act. He sees every murder. Preach. Murders proceed from the heart. Come on. It comes from all races. Sure. All colors. Yes. 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 The, the, the black police officer, retired, 75 years old, shot to death by looters. Thefts come from within. Right. And defiled. That's the word. That's right. Amen. He was a good man. He was a law-abiding citizen. God have mercy. I repent yes. for the stuff that's going on. Yes. We are in a war in our nation and they're trying to uh, have an insurrection and trying to destroy the America that we know. That's true. It isn't perfect, that's but truth. it's getting better. That's the truth. But there's a regime, there's people that are trying to undermine the very fabric of our society. You're they right. want to bring America down. You're they right. want to reduce it to nothing so that the socialist, communist, anti-Christ system can take control of the world. That's the truth. But we need to pray. We need to fast. Yes. We need to repent yes. for our nation and say, God, bring us together. Yes. Bring us together in love. Yes. Forgive our land. Yes. Amen. That's right on. They're not saying anything about the aborted babies, as Brother Reminded us the other night, I don't want to go any farther there, but I repented for our nation about the things that I read today. I cried out to God, have mercy. This is why we need to be baptized in the name of, in a watery grave, in the name of yes, Jesus. Yes. That's why we need to be baptized with the Spirit. Yes. Hallelujah. To get a new heart and a new spirit. Right. Hallelujah. A heavenly spirit. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. We need to be born from above. We're all of the earth, earthly. This earth is cursed because of sin. We're cursed because of sin. Our nation is cursed because of sin. Righteousness exalted the nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. God have mercy on America. God forgive us and save us. This is why we need to be born from above, a supernatural birth from heaven, right. so we can overcome right. our fleshly exactly instincts right. and defile our souls. Exactly right. Oh, Jesus. And then we need to do, when we've been born again, we need to do what Jude said. We need to keep ourselves in the love of God. Oh, the Holy Ghost moved the other morning with such a love feast. It was a love feast all day long. Yes, Just yes, loving beautiful. God. You God. felt his love, yes. and he felt the, the love reciprocated from you. We just need to keep that going. Right and when he yes. then tries to get, the, you know, any kind of bad spirit, any kind of uh, somebody done your wrong song, any kind of thing like that, you need to say, God, I'm bringing it to you. God, forgive them and, and help me help me not to have a grudge or become bitter. Help me, Lord, don't let anything, God. Lord, uh, uh, that stop God. that flow, God, from yes, you, God. that flow of your love. Yes, God. Hallelujah. This is how the gospel works. God makes it true. Hallelujah to everyone's heart on a good way. Amen. And he wants to make his love known to you in a personal way. Amen. You need to you need to guard that relationship. This is the greatest thing in the earth. 
uh, to have a relationship with God, yes, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. The Amplified Commentary says, guard and keep yourselves in the love of God. Expect and patiently wait for the love and the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah, which will bring you unto life eternal. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, Jesus. Why don't you just lift your hands for a moment and thank him for his love. Hallelujah. Thank you. Lord, I thank you. I didn't deserve your love, but I thank you for mercy and grace. So, God, that I can be a recipient of your love because I am your child and you care for me and you know my name. You know my address. You know the very hairs on my head. And I thank you, Jesus, for who you are and what you are. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Remember, Jesus said 11 times to watch. Keep awake. That is, keep awake spiritually so that you are not caught off guard. Yes. Matthew 24 and 42 says, Watch therefore, for you know not what hour the, your Lord doth, doth come, when he is coming. But know this, that if the good men of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched. He would have watched sure. and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore, be ye also ready, for in such an hour as you think the Son of Man cometh. Therefore, watch. Watch is the key word. Matthew 26 and 40 says, And he cometh unto the disciples and findeth them asleep, and said unto Peter, What could you not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, yes. but the flesh is weak. Right. Watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. An old song says, My flesh is tired of seeking God. But on my knees I'll stay. Oh, I want to be a pleasing child until that final day. My mind is full of many thoughts that clutter and confuse. But standing firm I will in faith that I'll be used. All right. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I am asking once again, Lord, won't you help me, my friend, Lord Jesus. Lord 
It was like he saw this vision of this big tree. This big tree and everything came under it. And, and, and the fowls and the beasts and, and the people. And they, they sheltered under it. It was his kingdom. Uh -huh. And he saw it till the Holy One came down from heaven saying, Hew the tree down. That was the decree of the Holy One. And destroy it. Yet leave the stump of the roots thereof in the earth. I just want you to know, if you messed up, if you blown it, if you failed, it doesn't matter how many times. Uh, God's not out to destroy you. He might bring you down a few notches. Uh, he might bring you down to the stump, so to speak. Uh, when you, you, know, you don't see any light, but oh my God, he only brings us down so he can lift us back up again. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's what yes. God makes for you. Yes. He brought him down to the earth, even with a, a band of iron and brass in the tender grass of the field, and let it be wet with the dew of heaven, and let his portion be with the wild beast of the field till seven times pass over him. That's seven years. Nebuchadnezzar was in this, this state where he was like a madman, like a crazy man, like a beast of the field. But his understanding came to them. And Matthew, in Daniel 4, 17, it says, The matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the Holy One uh, ones to the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men. God is sovereign and he rules over. And he giveth it to whomsoever he will and giveth up and setteth up whomsoever he will. He, oh, he setteth up the basis of man. Yes. And going down to verse 35, Daniel was... Um, Nebuchadnezzar, not Daniel. Nebuchadnezzar was abased. He was brought low because of his pride, his arrogance, what he was saying. And he comes to his senses in verse 35, and all the inhabitants of the earth are reputed as nothing. And he doeth according to his will in the army of the heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth. And none can stay his hand or say unto him, What doest thou? At the same time, my reason returned unto me, and for the glory of my kingdom, my honor and brightness returned unto me, and my counselors and my lords sought unto me, and I was established in my kingdom, and excellent majesty was added unto me. Okay. Now I, Nebuchadnezzar, praise and extol, hallelujah, yes. and honor the king of heaven. Who's yes. watching? All whose works are true uh -huh. and his ways judgment. And those that walk in pride, he's able to abase. Wow. wow. And God said, Vengeance is mine, I will repay. You leave it in his hands. Yes. He'll take care of it. Amen. Because he's watching. And nobody uh -huh. gets by his watch. Right. Jesus said in Matthew 18:3. And he said, Verily I say unto you, except you be converted and become as little children, you shall not enter the kingdom of heaven. That's not the mindset that a lot of people in our world have today. People think they can say anything they want to say uh -huh. or do about other people. You're going to give an account for that. Right. Right. That's, right. that's crazy and foolish. You better pray, God, put a watch, set a watch. The, the psalmist said, set a watch over my mouth and guard over my tongue. Yes. Oh, Jesus, we yes. need you in this generation. Yes. Yes. But we need to become converted and become like children. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. Right. Don't quit worrying about, you know, you're great. You're great. Status in this earth. Right, right. Make it a name for yourself in the year and that. Okay. Become like a child. Amen. The Amplified says, and said, truly I say to you, unless you unless you repent, that you change and have a turn about in the way in the direction you're going and become like little children. And he gives the characteristic of a child what's meant here. They're trusting, they're trusting. Um, they're um, lowly, loving, forgiving. That's good. Jesus, God said, you, 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 you need to become like a child. Yes. Uh -huh. Amen. And have this attitude. All right. 
Amen. You need to be trusting, lowly, loving, forgiving. That's good. All right. You can never enter the kingdom of heaven at all unless you become like that. Right. Well, I can never become. Well, you need to pray, God, have mercy on me. Who do I think I am? Right. Lord, help me. Yeah. Humble me. Help me to help me to have that 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 child. I'm a child of God. That of that little child. You need to be. I'm not Absolutely. telling the adults to start acting like children, because <laughs> when you become older, you put away childish things. <laughs> but you need to have that kind of an attitude. So yes, you sir. You get what I'm saying? That's good. Yes. For you. Amen. Amen. All right. For whoever will humble himself, therefore, and become like this little child. Trusting, lowly, loving, forgiving is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Okay. Amen. The greatest, one of the greatest men that ever was, the greatest king. This is why God blessed him to be that. Solomon, this is how he, he came before the Lord in 1 Kings 3 and verse 7. He said, And now, O Lord my God, thou hast made thy servant king instead of David my father, and I am but a child. I am but a little child. Oh. He wasn't a little child. He was a grown man. Right. Okay. But he said, I know not how to go out and to come in. I don't have the answers, God. I, I don't know what to say or what to do. I don't know how to lead these people. Okay. And thy servant is in the midst of thy people, which thou hast chosen, a great people that cannot be numbered nor counted for multitude. Yes. Give, therefore, thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people. And that I may discern between good and, and bad. And for who's able to judge this thy so great a people? And the speech pleased the Lord that Solomon had asked this thing. And God said unto him, Because thou hast asked this thing, and hast not asked for thyself long life, neither hast asked riches for thyself, nor hast asked the life of thine enemies. You know, when we get wrong, we want justice. We want our justice. Sure. We naturally, everybody wants to repay twofold over yeah. to what we got. Right. Sure. And you know what happens? We become worse than the perpetrator. Uh -huh. okay. The wronged us. That's true. Lord You're help right. us. You're right. Right. Mm -hmm. But as ask for thyself understanding to discern judgment. Behold, I have done according to thy word. Lo, words, lo, I give thee a wise and an understanding heart, so that there was none like thee before thee, neither after thee shall any arise like unto thee. Hallelujah. Right. He granted him all of his requests and gave him even more. Gave him long life and riches. Hallelujah. Gave him yeah. wisdom to know how to come up, go in among the people. All right. Hallelujah. All right. Gave him riches. Good, yeah. Gave him the greatest kingdom that ever was. All right. The whole world is a stage. The whole world is a stage. Uh -huh. With all our, with all eyes on us. But we're to perform to our master. Yeah. Right. The Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Right. Amen. His eye. Is on us. Mm -hmm. He is watching us. Right. Right. Yes. We play for him and to him. Yes. Someone is watching you. What do they see? Right. Heavenly Father, I come before you today with a simple message, Lord. And Lord, I've delivered it, and now I put it in the hands of each one here and out there. And I just pray, God, that you will help everyone find a place of repentance and humbling ourselves. Because, Lord, you want to lift us up to the highest heights of heaven. You want to bless us more than we can contain. But, Lord, help our spirits. Help us to be watchful. Help us to watch our attitudes, our words. Our... Lord, forgive us for those things, Lord, that we have said and done that would displease you. I want to be, I want to be, oh Lord, your child, and hear you say, well done, oh Jesus, 
I come before you today, Jesus, just as I am. I come before you today needing mercy, God. I need mercy, Jesus. I want to love mercy. And, and, and Lord, I want to love, Lord, doing what is right. You call us, Lord, to do justly, to do what is right, to love you, to love mercy. And Lord, I pray that we can have that kind of attitude, that kind of spirit. Brother Clay said, this is the house of grace. This is the house of grace. And I thank you for your grace today. We come before you to receive, Lord Jesus. Help. Help in our spirits and in our minds. We come today asking you truly, God, to release our mind from chains that we cannot see, that would bind us, so that we can be free, Lord, and we can be full of your spirit. Fill us with your joy, Lord. Fill us with your love, Lord. Fill us with your faith, Lord. Fill us with your life, Lord, so that we can be what you would have us to be, Jesus. And help us to be real, because there's a lot of phony. Let me Christians out there. There's a lot of phony professors. But Lord, help us to be real and have a real relationship. Because Lord, everyone in this place, God received and experienced it. And Lord, has felt your love. Some haven't claimed it yet, but they've responded to the Spirit and the Spirit's moved in their lives. They know you're real, Lord. But God, we want more of the Holy Ghost. We want it to wash us anew and afresh. Cleanse us over and over. Lord, we want to be more like you, Jesus. You are the perfect example, Lord Jesus. We have no excuse, Lord Jesus. Lord, turn our eyes on heaven, Lord. Turn our eyes on the examples of your word, Lord, that you have given us to show us how to live. You demonstrated to us Lord God, how to live a victorious life. You taught us, even though you were perfect, even though you were God manifest in the flesh, you taught us how to pray. You said our spirit, my, your spirit is willing, but your flesh is weak. You need me on the hour. And Lord, we thank you, Jesus, for showing us that. If you had to pray, we need to pray. Jesus, God, some have, have almost given up on prayer because you didn't show up or show up the way they wanted you to when they thought you should. But Lord, I pray that you will help them to understand that prayer is not just for us getting what we want or for you doing or for us manipulating heaven, but prayer is about us getting our place ourselves in the right place and in the right position. It's about our spiritual, our spirituality and our, our destiny. So help us, God. Help our spirits to be right and working. Holy oh, Jesus, I feel you here. Some are kneeling where they're at. Why don't you make an altar wherever you're at, at your seat or in your home or wherever you're at. Why don't you just call on God today? Jesus, I want to be ready when you return. I don't want my house and my family to be broken into Lord, because I'm careless. Oh, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Mighty God. Mighty God. Oh, take some time to talk to Jesus. Take some time to look to him. Jesus, Jesus. Melt our hearts in your love. Melt our hearts in your love. And Lord God, transform us into your likeness. God, let the Spirit maneuver and refresh Holy God. And let the Spirit baptize today. Baptize in the Spirit. Baptize in the Spirit. Release your Spirit from above, Lord, on us. Holy God, let it wash us in your blood. Oh, Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in my life. I need you, God. I need you. 
I need you today. My world, Lord, my generation needs you today. They need your presence. They need your power. They need your mercy. They need your mercy. I know this, this, this generation deserves judgment, Lord, and deserves judgment. But I pray for mercy. I pray for mercy on the nation. Oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we speak grace. I speak grace to every individual man. I speak grace over my brothers and sisters. Grace. The unmerited favor of God. I speak grace for them to receive from you, Lord. All that you desire to impart and bless them with. In the name of Jesus. Oh, just close your eyes and lift your hands and the word and worship God and thank Him for His love. Thank Him for His goodness. Thank Him. Hallelujah. 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 When God fills you with His Spirit, the Bible says you are sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. That seal is an identification mark that God sees. And there are heavenly spirits, angels, that see that identification. Right. And there are demonic spirits that see that. But there is the Lord that sees from heaven that we belong to him. And he watches dutifully, carefully over his prized possession, his bride, his church, his people. Amen. If you are sealed, you know someone is watching you. Amen. The Lord God Almighty is watching over you. He's guarding. He's protecting. Hallelujah. He's keeping like a garrison about you. An army about you to protect you from the evil one. Hallelujah. I know that because his word says that. Can you thank him for watching over you? Can you thank him for watching over you? Thank you, Jesus. Loving you. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God, I thank you, Jesus. Let us walk like you. Let us talk. 
we just stand to our feet and can we lift our hands? I am set. 